Hi, what a week. Albion, Azerbaijan, Anfield. Let's start with the Champions League pattern to the last 16. And apparently, no problem, Carabag, yeah. even though everyone else has seemed to find them a problem. It kind of helped after the sending off. That did help a little bit, but Chelsea's tactics were fantastic. The end up play between particularly the three stroke four up front, Hazard and Pedro, but specifically William. Seth coming in there helping. Seth gets slightly confused because he has to go and take that again. It was four, could have been a lot more. It was uh, an easy one, which is good news with Anfield coming up. Certainly is uh, Williams' 200th appearance marked uh, with some pretty special goal scoring form there and also carrier bags at Carabag. <laughs> it happened. Something's having a wind up there and they kept on getting them with the camera as well. So, yes, carrier bags were at Carabag. Carrier bag was funny, so was full time. Has our bang down <laughs> the mess of the handshakes here. Pat on the palm. Oh, oh, that's just, just left, left them hanging the there at one point with a punch. <laughs> all over the place, but a lovely thing, Hazard to William which reminded us of the previous game, which we need to talk about. Morata and for Hazard. We expected it to be a tough one, but that little oh, back Oh, outrageous. It's absolutely phenomenal, totally and utterly deliberate, and the understanding between them two at the moment is beyond brilliant. It is. Let's move on to the training ground. A couple of bits for you from Cobham this week. Firstly, don't worry about Antonio Rudiger. It's, in <laughs> fact, a dance, and he's OK, so that's all right. <laughs> Mishi Batshuayi and Michael Essien were at Cobham. Uh, that was posted on social media. And uh, this from the bus. David is up Acosta via Instagram. Morata asleep on the bus. Schoolboy era. Alvaro Morata, look at him. Beautiful, sleeping like a baby. OK, it's time for this week's challenge, Parker. We said it last week. You better have someone ready for us at Cobham. I'm going to call him now. Where is he? No, we don't want to press that one. <laughs> there, he there he is. There he is. Have you come through? How dare you even ask? Look at this, look, look where I am, look. Legends everywhere you go. Yeah. And, yeah. well, Hello. pictures of and Chili yeah. Flatty, right, hey. that's my surprise guest. How are you doing? Are you, are you happy with the choice? I'm very happy. What's he stopping you from doing? From going home on the M25. Oh, well, don't worry, it's, it's nose to tell, I've just been on that. Uh, how was training? Yeah, it was, um, I would say it was nice and easy, but it weren't, it was a really hard day today. Um, we've had a few days off, so they're making us pay for it now. What's the worst part of it, Jelly? The, the hard work, is it? Do you do doggies up and down, or is it longer runs you're doing? Um, well, today it was just getting our legs moving again, because we'd had a few days off, so even just the, the warm-up running around the pitch, everyone was a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, soup of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it was tough, it was tough. Right, I've got a question for you. What's it like watching games from the back at the moment with everyone scoring so many goals up the other end? Are you getting bored? 6-0, 6-0, 6-0, etc. I know, they're making me do extra work in training though because I'm not running in the games. Is Ramona in there? No, she's not. She's Good. on international duty at the moment. Fine. Yeah. Good. I should have known that. Uh, when <laughs> you played Wolfsburg two years ago in the Champions League and she was playing for them, yeah. there was a bit of handbags a few times over. You were involved in a fair bit of it, and there was a challenge with G. Do you remember oh, what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about, yeah. Right, how many of you brought it up with her, her outrageous rolling around diving nonsense and embarrassed <laughs> her with it, or does everyone keep stump? No, the first day she come in here, I think we, we pulled her up on here, and I think a few <laughs> of the girls were Excellent. throwing themselves around in the change room and saying, look, look, Ramona, look. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's been warmed about it. Um, so she has, she's been on her best behaviour since she's come here, which is a good thing. Well done, Jilly. Uh, more goals, please, this weekend for, uh, against Yeovil. Good luck. Thanks for Boys, joining us. Uh, before we go, um, we had a question. We were, we were discussing off air, actually. Jilly, ask the question that we were, we were yeah, discussing before. Do you call it a scone or a scone? Scone. Oh! In Scotland, it's a scone as well. Scone. Ah, uh, no, we've been two, outnumbered. Two. No, no, two-two. Oh, we'll have two, that. Two, we, we need a winner. We're scone. Well, yep. OK, you're wrong, but thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Two unusual scorers for you this week. Kurt Zuma, well done him. His first Stoke goal, that came in the Monday night against Brighton. Stoke struggling a bit, though. And Joao Rodriguez, I'm sure you've all been following the fortunes of Tampico Madera in Mexico. Well, he scored against Cafetaleros and Mineros. And staying with youngsters, another win in the UEFA Youth League for the two-time winners, Chelsea, back in the competition. But this, Pat, they had to come from behind, and uh, this isn't easy. When you're taking a penalty and someone throws a, uh, a firecracker. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. 
odd. Um, and anything that can put you off, oh, poor kid, he's not getting back in again to the country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally see, don't normally see people escorted from the stadium in a youth team oh, match. No but one makes a big deal about it. And uh, it least of all, Martel. Yes. So in that went, that was for 1-1, they won 3-1 in the end. They are still top of the group, one to come. Atletico Madrid at home, of course, but they aren't confirmed just yet as group winners. Now, you may have seen this week, I'm a Celebrity has started for another year. Dennis Wise is in it, so we've got some Chelsea involvement and a reason to watch. He's in the jungle. We put this out there on social media. It's a classic Wisey story. I remember going back to the hotel with... Um with Robbie and all the lads and, and standing and Robbie's uh, sister was there and, and obviously she, she's blind, Robbie's sister, and I remember s saying to her, um, did, did you hear, or she, and I said, do you want me to explain the goal to you? Now Shoes making an angle run ahead of him and open up some space to, and a goal! Oh, fantastic start! And she said yes, like that, and uh, then I went on and I said, well, um, Dennis Wise picked the ball up on the halfway line and he dribbled past one, went past two, not make the third, went round the defender and then he went round the goalkeeper and he put his foot on the ball, called Robbie over and Robbie tapped it in from a yard. Like that. <laughs> and she started laughing and Robbie slapped me round the head. Okay, trivia time next. Pat. The question was not what's the most accurate pass that Cesc Fabregas has ever had, because it was the answer. It's also the answer. A different question was who gets sent off against West Brom and why in this 3-0 game? And it was Cesc, because he pinged the ball right on to Brunt's head. Everyone laughed, except for Ethereum, he sent Cesc off. Brilliantly accurate. The uh, winners, Tariq Asef Alam, Rodney Amoa and Gautam Ramesh, well done you. And relating to Fabregas earlier having to retake his penalty, this week's question is, Frank Lampard had to take one three times once. Why, against whom, where, when? Answers below. Right, Liverpool. Confident. Oh, I am, actually. I was at, uh, I was over in Seville for the Liverpool game. And the first half, they were great. Well, they were quite good. Second half, it was absolutely abysmal. Um, real confidence getting into this game. I mean, there's so many memories about it. We all remember the Gerhard slip, you know, anything put it in, you can possibly put it in. We will put it in. But it's a big game, it's an exciting game. It could be a really open game. But the most important thing, what do we do? Do we play 3-4-3 or 3-5-2? And it's a massive difference. I suspect whatever we do, we'll still probably win because I think we're playing good, really good football just now. I think we'll go for 3-5-2. 3-5-2 with goals at both ends, probably, which is why you definitely want to get involved with our betting partner, William Hill, this week, offering odds of 9-2 to two on both teams to score, but a Chelsea win. I reckon it's probably going to be something just like that. Maybe Salah, a bit of X-Factor. 2-1, 3-2. I would go 3-2. I have to say, it could be that. I mean, but it's a tough one to call because there will be goals. Red versus blue. Here we go again. See you next week. Control. That is fantastic! Lampard! Yeah. Up by Poston lead! There's Gorkiao, got away from Risa! It's a wonderful goal! Pogba! Jimmy Ford Hasselback. David Wee! It's Louis! Yeah. Oh, he's run up and hit it when no one was ready! Charles here for Lampard, 1 0. Shevchenko, that'll do. Hazard's going on, and still, oh, what a goal! It's Willian! Oh, given away, here's Denver Bar. It's 1 on 1. Denver Bar for Chelsea, scored!